Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Fence and how he is not as bad of a trader as you make him out to be. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more PvE content. Let's hop right in and talk about Fence. First things first though, Rat Money might be coming back. If you're a longtime subscriber and a big fan of the Rat Money series, let me know if you're interested, because if we make a Rat Money series for PvE, it will be a Legacy Edition. That means... Once the episode is made, we're not going to make another one unless the barter is changed or something needs to be updated. That means once we make a Rat Money episode, there will not be one ever again of that specific item. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's perfectly okay. Check out the comments. We have a diehard fan base for the Rat Money series. All right, let's hop in and talk about Fence, ladies and gentlemen. There are some easy ways to save money with Fence, and it's not too much money that you're going to be saving, but there are some definite savings to be had when it comes to some specific med items and sometimes ammo. And there are some items you can buy from Fence that are going to save you tens of thousands of rubles, if not even more than that, over the long haul if you choose to buy these items a lot from Fence. You can save a lot of money by just clicking on the Fence Trader and seeing what he has in stock. So the number one item that I've always recommend to buy from Fence, and I believe we talked about it earlier this week. I don't know when these videos are being uploaded and what order, but that is the scav vest. Looks like he's out of stock right now, but when Fence sells his scav vest, they're usually about 5,000 rubles. And right now, scav vests on the flea market are between 40 and 50K. That is a 10X undercut of the flea market. That's some pretty decent savings, especially since... You need them for a lot of things in the game. But let's talk about some other stuff. Not something I've already talked about this week. Let's talk about meds. Now, you're probably going to judge me when I talk about these next few items because you're not saving a whole lot. But I know we have a ton of new subscribers here and they're not about that rat money life yet. So, guys, go easy on them on the comments if they start roasting me. Meds, the very basic ones from Fence, are cheaper than Therapist. If you want a bandage... It's going to cost you 1893 from Fence. If you want it from Therapist, it's going to cost you 2182 So if you're like me, and you just need one bandage to get into Rage, just something very light, so you don't have to use your Grizzly or an AFAC, an IFAC, whatever, it's cheaper from Fence. Don't buy it from Therapist. Same goes with the regular tourniquet. Not the cat, but just the regular tourniquet from Fence. They are 2496 rubles from Therapist. They are 4,263. So if you're bringing one of each in a raid, what are you saving? Like 2K? 2K a raid if you're just bringing one of each into a raid? That's that's decent, man. Don't laugh at 2K. Like, like, yeah, it's super easy to make money right now in PvE, but I save where I can. I do not give a fuck. I am shameless. I am shameless here. We are penny pinching every single ruble that we can find, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next, let's touch on ammo. We have some Luger CCI here. I don't know if 221 rubles is a good price. I don't think it is. I think Luger sells for 191, but let's see. Yeah, 191 is the mechanic price, but the flea market price is a little higher than Fence's price. So here on the flea market, we're sitting at about 238 rubles per round. Fence is sitting at that 221. So not great, not much, but if you've used up your limit from mechanic, this is a way for you to get a little more ammo if you are running CCIs. I kind of doubt it. You're probably not. It's pretty plentiful from the AI PMCs, but just an example of how you can get a little more if you are low or completely out for your restock allowment. Um, right here, 45 FMJ. One of my favorite rounds to run right now with the UMP. UMP is super fun. I believe this is overpriced though. Let's go ahead and take a look. So when it comes to the flea market price, it is very, very advantageous for you to buy some of this. But you can buy a thousand of it from Peacekeeper, and it's actually cheaper than what it's showing here. If you don't know, there are actually cents in the game. So just to give you an example, each round of FMJ is going to be 79 cents. And uh, if you wanted to do the exact conversion, it's just math that nobody wants to do or hear about here in the video here today. But uh, $1 on the ruble conversion, you're looking at about 145 So you take like 79% of this, whatever 79% of 145 is and then you get your true price and you'd have to compare that price obviously uh to what fence is selling it for but I, i'd say it's pretty damn close he's already out of it somebody already bought all of it there was like 800 rounds there it's gone it was a decent price it's better than the flea market you have certain things that happen with the ammo like this 
and it really is only worth it if you've already used your limit up. There are some rounds that sell for way cheaper for fence, but they're few and far between, to be completely honest. One that's actually pretty decent from what I remember is PS. Obviously, we don't have it here. That's going to be 545 PS, not 762. Uh, but, you know, there, there's rounds that hop in here occasionally that are pretty damn good. And they're cheaper than either Trader or Flea Market. Here's another great example right here. The ear flaps. Oh, the Russian ear flaps. 6,517 rubles. You want to see what these are selling for on the flea market? There you go. Another phenomenal example of why you always check fences inventory when you're doing some of those tasks. And this one goes hand in hand with the scab vest. I mean, if you could find both of these from fence at the same exact time, you're saving so much money. You buy this off the flea market, you're spending 100K. You buy them from fence, you're spending 10. You simply cannot beat that. And over time, if you need stuff for task, just check with fence. Like maybe you need an AKM or something crazy and you can't get it from proper for whatever reason. I have no idea if there's a limit on AKMs or not. Maybe there's a cheap one in here with fence. Respirators. You're going to need these pretty late game for decontamination service. But, uh, you know, 2K, that's so cheap. There's the scab vest right here. They're literally together. 5,459 and 6,517. Fence is your friend, even if you think he's not. There's some deals to be had on very certain items. Um, you can get a plate carrier right here, a gazelle plate carrier, if you want one of those. Um, sometimes there's some big bags in here. I've seen the gunslingers in here. Not a great bag. The you know the me mechanism bag isn't that great either. But you know, plenty of examples in here of decent items. They're not all great, but there's a few gems here and there, and it's worth checking fence every once in a while. Pop your head in the door, tell them what's going on. And, uh, you know, maybe sell them some of those low durability weapons on the side and every once in a while rob him blind when he's not even looking. Guys, do me a favor. Make sure you're dropping a like on this one. And of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out.